Hey everyone, it's Jenna here. I just wanted to record and post my first video blog or vlog for this project that I'm doing. Um, friends and family members, I uh, just wanted to explain um, my April Fool's Day joke. Maybe you tuned in on social media and heard about my project, One Year Without Clothes. Uh, thanks to my friends who appreciated my little gag and hopefully you got a chuckle out of it. Um, while it is something I maybe would do, it's not for real. Uh, thanks for the funny comments though. Um, and also thanks to my wonderful husband, Colin, for having a good sense of humor and helping me with the photos. Uh, yeah, anyway, the, what is this blog and video all about? Um, okay, well, let me explain. I wanted to start a blog and make a commitment to post every week on an issue that I've been interested in for the last, well, for a while, and that is the idea of disposable fashion. So it's not really a statement against fashion, but I will be making a pledge not to go shopping for one whole year, and we'll see how I stick to it. Uh, if you know me, you know I don't really have a clothes addiction, not too much. I have probably too many to fit in my closet, but I'm not one of those compulsive shoppers, but I am a person who probably like to shop every week, mostly for accessories, and I probably was at a budget of between $400 and $500 a month on clothing and shopping, uh, apparel, shoes, accessories, the whole bit. So one of my ideas is that if I could go a year without shopping, I, I'm probably gonna save money. And also I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the way that clothing is manufactured and distributed nowadays in the 21st century. So my idea is I want to do some research and learn more about it and learn about sustainable ways, more sustainable ways that we can all shop for clothes. And another part of my hypothesis is I have a feeling that I already have enough in my closet to get me through the year without any shopping. So I'm going to be doing various posts maybe even a podcast addressing this issue. I'm gonna be connecting with friends that I know locally in Phoenix who are in the fashion scene and in the fashion industry and um, even connecting with the Phoenix Art Museum's Costume Institute, perhaps, hopefully. And my friend Marshall Shore, the hip historian, has already agreed to work with me. He's really into fashion, knows a lot about fashion history and vintage, so that'll be fun. So anyway, this has been on my mind for a while. I wanted to address it in some way. And um, so I'm making my pledge to do one post per week. So please check back because there will be more. And again, thanks for all the comments on social media. I hope you guys appreciated my little joke with my clothes on. Yeah, most of the time. Thanks, see you later.